Hello friends, my name is Hiraj. Today, I would like to show how to use your Max Edit Extender Control and Max Edit Validator Control in ASP.NET. This is the, uh, the part of your Ajax. So, let us begin with our tutorial. So, first open your Visual Studio. Go to the File, New, Website. Just simply add that. After adding that, go to the Solution Explorer, right click, add a new item, just simply add a form, web form. Now, add two label controls and two uh, text box control, just simply add that. Between these two controls, just Add a breakpoint. Again, add a label control and text box control. Now, here you can see the text. Enter inside the text that is name. Now, font bold will be true. is equal to inverted commas to do for that you are sorry now inside your text box one back color is equal to inverted commas give you a color code that is hash four times c two times f this is the color code same this copy this and paste on your label control too inside the text right mobile number then copy this back color code simply paste it change your color code four times f two times c again put a break tag after that first we will add a first control that will be max added extender control which is a part of your ajax now go to your design oh this label tag is not working just take okay go to your design part now okay now it's working now right click go to the properties target to target control id will be our text box 2 and the input direction will be right to left marks type will be number and marks will be 10 digit that are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 nines and error uh, error tooltip enable will be true Okay. Oh.
okay fine now go to your source add another control put a breakpoint just simply paste here add another control that is your mask edit validator just go to your design right click go to the properties then first control extender control extender will be max edit editor one that is our id of your max editor extender then after that control to validate control to validate will be our text box two display will be dynamic for color will be red display a message in red after that empty value message if the text box will be empty then write inside that an error message that is mobile number is not mobile number is not entered mobile number is not entered after that invalid value message will be the mobile number does not exist the mobile number does not exist after that is valid empty will be false maximum value message will be invalid valid number because its length will be the max your minimum value minimum value will be 1 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 your minimum value message will be please please enter correct mobile number so after adding all this message just simply jump checking it okay it's good now simply browse it okay let us check the control with id max is required script manager on your web page okay uh, we have not used our script manager just simply add a script manager you have forgotten to use here you can see an ajax extender just simply add a script manager now browse it let us test it whether it is working oh, okay now it's working good now just click here 
mobile number is not entered yes we have not entered the mobile number if you enter one digit please enter the correct mobile number it is not accepting it if you enter three digit please enter the correct mobile number if you enter ten digits sorry nine digits it is it will show again the same message if you enter one more digit that is zero it is accepting that means it is accepting the 10 digit number which is required for your mobile number validation so so this in this way you can do your validation for a mobile number by using a mass edit extender and mass edit validator control which is a part of your ajax so hope you like this video this is a uh, simple video please like subscribe and share it and keep supporting me bye